I want to thank you, Dave. And by the way, uh, let's put the crew back up there again because there was a Ooh. scramble uh, 30 minutes before we went live to get a hold of me, Ooh. get me set up in a remote location and be able to do a show. Uh, there's the people that make this show happen. Dave, it was a pleasure today. I'm going to get back to oh, enjoying nice. my vacation. But let me remind everybody out there um, that we are not yet out of a global pandemic. And while the rules and the guidelines from the various health organizations, including the CDC, are changing, we need everybody to do their part. And what I love about the, the fans and the people that support this program uh, is that we've spent the bulk of the last year learning how to do this show better and not just from a technical standpoint and doing it remotely, um, but learning different things about how to address certain arguments, how to interact with people. I'm not always going to get it right. Am I rude? Yeah, sometimes. Am I an asshole? Sure, on occasion. Um, do I think it's justified? <laughs> yeah, most of the time, but I'm going to be wrong on occasion. And so is Dave, and so is Jenna, and so is Shan, but don't tell her I said so. And so is Jim. And so is everyone that's involved in this content. I just posted a video on my personal Atheist Debates project where I offered a correction to a caller who had called in who said, hey, the Bible says that the Garden of Eden is in Mesopotamia. And I said, no, it doesn't. And plus the Mormons think it's in Missouri. I, there's more details in the correction video. Clearly, I know that Genesis talks about the Tigris and Euphrates, and so that would place uh, Mesopotamia as one of the potential locations for the Garden of Eden. But somebody wrote in and was just out, outraged. And you need you owe your, your fans a correction, and you owe that caller an apology. Um, and I don't completely agree with that because of what was in my head about what I was trying to say. The location of the Garden of Eden isn't specified, and it wasn't relevant to the point she was trying to make. But in the spirit of that, I hereby offer an unreserved apology to the caller, provided that she felt that I was denying what she meant, that it said to the Tigris and Euphrates. And if that's the way the conversation went, then I hereby apologize without reservation. And I would let everyone else know that while we don't know the location of the Garden of Eden, um, it does list it at, at a sort of junction of four rivers, including two that are identified as the Tigris and Euphrates. And so that now the next question for people to ask is, why haven't we found it? I mean, we've got Google Maps. We've got satellite pictures of the Earth. We can scour everything. I mean, if the Garden of Eden is still on Earth and it's being protected by cherubim at one side and a flaming sword that points in all directions at the other side, surely we should be able to see that. Let's get some expeditions launched uh, in that area to see if we can't find um, the Garden of Eden. Matt, it's in a third dimension. You know, You know that. Come on. Hey, I know what my pastor told me, which is that it was removed from the from the earth uh, to keep men from getting to it. And my re my response to that was, if it's somewhere we can't get to, why does it need to be guarded by a flaming sword? It's, <laughs> well, it's, we found we found Noah's Ark in Turkey, so we oh think gosh, we don't a garden. <laughs> okay, before anybody emails to say we need to correct that, Dave is wrong. We have not I'm actually found kidding, Noah's I'm Ark, kidding, I'm but people kidding, thought I'm they did. Kidding, I'm anyway, kidding, I'm kidding. Uh, I, I love, love doing you, this. I love doing this Go show. I love doing it with Dave man. and everybody else. Please take care of yourself. And remember, don't just believe something because we said it. Even even though you know caller was wrong about a logical argument, go out and do some research yourself. But mostly, go out and enjoy your life with other people and exercise precautions because we want to see you all back next week when I'm back in Austin. Thank you guys. Take care. See you guys.